Hi, welcome to the installation of Leatherfish Web Client version 11. Let's go straight to our setup installer here. Open Outlands and select our preferable language. Let's use English. Let's go to Leatherfish Web Client installation. Click next. Agree with the license agreement. Okay, you can see what we are going to install in this package. It means we are going to install Leatherfish Web Client version 11 and the Leatherfish Document Preview Service version 11. Uh, I will use, let's use our uh, LFDS installed on this same machine. I'll let my full qualified domain name, my full machine name. Then I'll just proceed. Next. Then the good thing we have all the necessary components installed in, in our machine. So the installation has begun. Let's proceed with the configuration. So, in the configuration of Leather Fish Shop Client version 11, uh, the configuration page consists of four tabs as you see connection, settings, service, and diagnostic. Let's proceed. Uh, let's start with a connection. So here we'll identify the connection or to the repository which you want the shape client to be used. So here I'll write the server name, repository name. G experience then uh, I'll save yes let's proceed with the settings so here you can do email setup so on service is where you connect to the shop client with as a uh, Leatherfish product like uh, Leatherfish Directive Server, and that will enable single sign on and window authentications. And 
you can link uh, you can connect with the uh, Leatherfish app audit trail uh, Leatherfish discussion Docsan integration and direct share so for this session what we do is we just connect it with uh, director server so first we have to identify the URL which we will start with the uh, mm, server name then we finish with leather fish and on director server After writing on director server STS URL, you have to start with a server name and finish with LFDSSTS. Uh, this is not a problem to remember because it's already showing you how what you should write here HTTPS, start with the server name forward slash LFDSSTS. I'll click to verify it's verified please uh, there's a warning message here says please recycle the apple after saving your changes so let's save okay good thing so let's go and uh, recycle our apple so I'll go to uh, IAS manager application pool web access app pool I'll click recycle good that's how you recycle so this is a login page which I know all of you you are familiar with to log into repository using web grant it means you write your username and password you get into so this is how you install Leatherfish web grant and configure it you can configure more to connect it with Leatherfish discussion as we saw there direct share and all stuff so guys thank you welcome again